The cost of living has skyrocketed, pushing households into poverty and boosting the already extreme pre-existing inequalities. Apart from poverty and inequality, unfortunately, higher prices can also boost crime. Using data from the New Scotland Yard on what goods are stolen and matching them with their prices, we saw that a 10% increase in the price of a product, not far from the current inflation rate, increases the stolen quantity for that product by about 3 to 4%. Utilizing exogenous global shocks, we saw that specific commodities such as metals and fuel are influenced even more. For instance, the current inflation rate in petrol, which is in record high at around 34%, would increase stolen fuel by around 22%, causing much larger damages to vehicle owners and retailers. This research has been published at the Review of Economic Studies and it shows for the first time that this underexplored aspect of the changing returns to crime that function through prices explain better criminal behavior than the overly emphasized factors of unemployment and wages. Policymakers must intervene to regulate the cost of living crisis control inflationary expectations, and tax millionaire wealth and excess profits from energy to support the most vulnerable. But our research also shows that they must observe prices to anticipate and help prevent future crime booms. The current combination of stagnation and inflation, what has been termed as stagflation, can also lead to crime, causing social unrest and chaos. For this reason, governments must act now.